Ahaya, ahaya. Woo! This is my newest piece entitled Anything is Possible. Are you sure that's not like an artistic expression of your stretch marks? No, no, not at all. You know, I used to drink a lot. This is how I used to see things when I would get tipsy. I think them is the sun spots that's on your back. No, nah, man, no. Nah. See, you just mad because you don't have an artistic mind. New nickname alert, Pablo Picasso. I bet you if we went head to head and had an art exhibit and see who could sell the most art pieces, I would absolutely win. No, you would not, bro. You weak as fuck. Okay, well, that's gonna be the next challenge. We're having an art exhibit and we're gonna see who can sell the most art. Let's go. It's Liddy. All I'm gonna do is draw titties. That's art. Oh, oh, snap. You got on, a Dominican man? undercover cop. What's oh, up, with you player? Right, I look right, like Detective right. Torres in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. How you feeling, man? What's good, what's good. I'm Kyle, man. I'm going to be your, uh, your, your art instructor today. Okay, okay. for yeah. sure, for sure. sure. You drew this picture? Yeah, so actually I painted it, and the title of this painting is She Who Sets the Table Shall Sit at It. And mm. it was born out of a conversation I was having with some, some black women who felt unvalued or undervalued in, in society. So, you know, I kind of made this as like a commemoration towards all the black women in my life and all the black women that I appreciate and all that sort of stuff. That's, cool, yeah. man. That's definitely fire, man. Just based on that picture, she looked like she got ass, too. I, I'm sure you know. What? She looked like she got ass. Oh the picture looked like she's sitting there like, the cake is in the oven, quit running <laughs> for you make it fall. Quit going in and out. That's what I see from that picture. That's the type of energy. <laughs> she do look very blessed yeah. and highly favored. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Vincent Van Doe, Pablo Picasso Doe, Donatello Doe. All these dudes are artists, and I'm fans of all of them. And I got bars for them, and I got hands for them when I whip her the wrist. You feel me? I got a cousin named Lisa. She be drawing, like, streets and, like, birds. I don't know what she named them, but I know they nice. Okay. And, I, and I know you probably gonna have the, the leg up in this because Teddy got a hand wrap like that. He wears that when he goes to bed, so. Oh, for real? You already got a little <laughs> bit of familiarity. Yeah, 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 I know that you got that. All right, right so you just gonna show us the ones and twos and how to get into it and yeah. make it happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever painted or drawn or anything before? I, mean, I done drew weapons on niggas because I come from the streets, you feel me? We're not Sacramento? doing that Okay, okay, tonight, cool, cool, cool. You know, I, sometimes yeah. I relapse, you feel right. that? But, you um, don't come from the streets. You know what I'm saying? But I paint pictures with words with these raps that I be doing, but just the actual physical, Picture. Okay. This is a new, a new territory for me. So. All right. What about you? Um. After that long-winded answer, no, I don't draw. <laughs> Doughboy's art is anything like his rapping, then we're all fucked. Teddy got chubby fingers, so he can't really grip a pen, grip a paintbrush, so it's gonna be sloppy at best. I'm probably gonna be all over the place. And he ain't really got no artistic vision. You know what I'm saying? Like I got that vision. I don't think he got it. Okay. The first thing you want to start with is a good idea. Okay. Oh, I Something thought you even... was gonna say contour. Mm, nah, nah, that's gonna be a little later on. That's but... what Doughboy do when he go have auditions. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Beat his face. So you start with a good idea, something that means something to you, so when you're painting, it, it feels true. Like, you're not just bullshitting, and you're doing something that feels like it's worthy. So something of that's existing. important to you. Exactly. Ham sandwich for you, cheesecake, meatloaf sliders, things of this nature that are really, really close to your heart disease infested heart. Draw that. Got this. Well, my first experience, probably like a lot of other black children, was detention. Just drawing and shit, trying to pass time. L.A. kids used to like tag a lot. So I would be like damn near from everybody hood by the end of the day. I just practice on tagging, practice hitting up hoods, practice on buses, you know? That was art. If I pull that, her hair wrap off, will she have a finger wave? You are, she'll come uh, to life and slap the shit out you. You know black women don't play yeah, about their hair, bro. Don't, the even, don't even play with art like that. Right. Even in art, art. I, I can't, can't even touch her hair. Art, you feel me? Okay. Right. And she's staring at me. Damn, yeah, auntie. She's checking you out, man. <laughs> so I'm just... sorry I stole your weed. <laughs> So you want to make sure when you're doing portraiture, you get all the simple shapes down. Like it looks complex, mm -hmm. but it's really just a whole bunch of different shapes. And, right. You know, there's only a couple of shapes that you can do, like circles, rectangles, triangles, mm -hmm. all that stuff. What do you mean a whole Isosceles. bunch of shapes? Isosceles. That's it. What was you're your question? About, what do you mean a whole bunch of shapes? Like eyes, lips, nose? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying yeah. it's just different components, but of the same shapes over and over and over again. So when this is just a white piece of paper, it's just a bunch of circles and triangles. Yeah, like when I'm drawing it out, you know, I'll start with an oval for the head, and then eyes are usually almond shaped. But before you even get into like the eyes and the details and okay. stuff, you block it in. So you know. So you know where you're going. It's almost like a GPS for where you're going. Right. Because if something's off just a little bit, it mm. looks. It should be cockeyed or some other shit. Should be I like, like the realisticness of her neck. 
Like that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. like, like I neck. don't know what that's just from all right. All yeah, right. that's auntie neck. I like what you did there, man. Your work is fire, man. The shading is good, the shapes is good. You got me feeling like a modern day artiste. So I'm definitely ready. Appreciate I, you. I don't even mean to be over anxious, but can we can we hop in? Can we can I go ahead and show you that I could draw better than you too? Let's well, we'll yeah. see. I'm yeah. I'm just <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go for it. Let's get it. My strategy for this uh, competition is just to stay neutral, stay organic like granola and such like that. I'm gonna kick off my shoes and connect with the earth so I can feel the aviance and the malevolence and then paint it on a picture for a scope. My strategy with every day that I live in my life, no matter what I'm doing, follow your heart, follow your spirit, and don't follow Doughboy's musty trail. All right, so first thing you gotta do is block in the shape. So, block in the shape. Yeah, the shape of the head. You know, okay. like draw it. Yeah, basically. Like outline it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do is set you guys up with your paints. Normally, what I would do is mix my own uh, black uh, using I think it's green and red. You made your own black because they don't have our color. Right, right, right. I yeah. feel you, bro. You know, people uh, always say red and blue make green. It doesn't. Blue and yellow make green. Okay. When people say red and green. You know, you know, like when you hear like Crips and sometimes blood they be like red and blue may green. Like no, it doesn't, sir. But gotcha. I'm glad you and the Crips are getting along. Hey, it saved a lot of lives. <laughs> it did. Yeah. But once we start them, it's, it's permanent, right? I mean, you can always paint over it. Okay. You can always paint over it. All right, here we go. What age were you when you realized you had the sauce with the art? Uh, probably like seven, seven or eight or something. Kids used to always ask me to draw them stuff in school. Kids would pay me to draw stuff, make stuff for them. So I, you know, I had a little art hustle. Did you ever used to make fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards? <laughs> no, I used to whoop ass in Pokemon, though. I, really? Man, I was in the streets. Y'all was playing Pokemon? That's how I was getting my money. Oh, OK. Yeah. You're also 40, bro. We ain't got <laughs> anymore, nigga. How, how, do you, how do I look so far, sir? Uh, you know, you, you're doing it. You're doing it. Art, art is open to interpretation. Wow. And I don't even think that's human no more, what you drawing, though, boy. Shut up. <laughs> That's all like about the art. Boot chicken nugget. Can I draw our paint? No. That's why I tell jokes. That's why I do comedy. That's my art. Lying to women. That's my art. No, them jeans don't make you look big. That's painting. Painted a picture. Made her feel skinnier in the mind. Can I draw? Is water wet? Is pig pork? That is a stupid question. Now, if you gotta make sure you tell me which parameters you're saying, because can I draw, like, do I pull that yiki out when it's beef? Absolutely, but can I also draw for when it's art? You know I can. Mm -hmm. So, you know, nobody's perfect. I probably should have said this before, because everybody's eyes are supposed to be about the same size, and the distance between the two eyes, rule of thumb, is about an eye's distance. So, you know, you got, Similar sizes, about an eye in between, but they're like really close in. But, you know, like I said, this is it's open art. to interpretation. Right. Picasso didn't give a shit about that, so, you know, you don't have to either. Exactly. Don't boy out here drawing music soul, child. Shut up. What happens when you mess up and, as an artist and you can't erase it? You guys just start over? You can use it to your advantage if, if you make a... Uh, a stroke that you didn't want to make, mm -hmm. or you can... I very rarely make a stroke that I don't want to make. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you need to keep that art school. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to tell him you can't just be a perv in the world. <laughs> How's my picture on a one in ten? Don't be lying to me, coach. Um, You're dude, not even doing it. It's on the spectrum. All right, see, he said I'm on the spectrum, Teddy. I gave it a negative eight, just cause, cause I don't fuck with him like that. He's built like a negative eight. So his art skills is a negative eight. Whenever you're ready, you can start blocking in like the, the rest neck of the area and all the other colors, yeah. But for that, I would use this brush because it's larger and it won't take as long. I'm, think, I'm thinking I'm gonna just use this one because it's larger and it won't take as long. Right, right, right. Watch cool, out cool. that there's some blue paint on there, on that brush, on this one. Oh. You don't want to. Okay. I get paint on all my clothes. See, I can't be getting that. This is a $3,000 sweater. Word. Yeah, I can't be messing From that. Burlington? Yeah. Word. They got a hidden selection. They got a hidden of uh, closet. Of bullshit, because they don't, it's called a clearance rack. Nigga, okay. it ain't no hidden selection. All right. So you can start working on the face, too. I wouldn't go as dark on the neck when I'm doing the face for you, because you want to highlight the chin, uh, highlight the cheeks, highlight the forehead. So which one is darker, the neck or the face? Because with these new girls, you can't tell. <laughs> they be too tall. Certain areas are different. Certain areas are different. Because there's shadow being cast from the chin, 
it's darker. So that's why okay. I was saying go darker. That's why I went darker on her neck. Right, you know, right, I put right, a little right. black in there, I put a little purple. Right. A little you, did, brown, you did it right, you did you it know? right. But wait, be careful before you go in with the red, because I feel like you're just gonna jump right in right now. But you wanna do like thin washes of it so it's not too prominent. Yeah, that's it. Now then go back over it with the brown? Uh-huh. I mean, come on, man. Just like I got a bunch of nicknames, I got a bunch of talents. I be rapping, I be playing the drums, I be stripping at bachelorette parties, I be doing my thing. I'm really out here in the streets, for real, for real. ah ha ya. Brown eye? <laughs> is, that the, is that what? It's art, coach. Okay, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now that See, is a black look, woman. You got a cheekbone right there. See, cause you told me. That is not a black woman, that is a Samoan uncle. Shut up. <laughs> you made it, you came a long way. Like this is looking pretty good actually. And I could tell if you guys both kept up to it, kept at it, like you would have these really unique styles. Like this is more like an art brute sort of deal. An art what? A art brute. It's like brute? Uh, outsider art. Yeah, it was this whole like phase. homeless art. They do it. Yeah, go but it's dope though. Call it's it? dope. It's dope. It's a good thing. Look, man, we can go back and forth with this all day, and it ain't gonna make no. Never mind. I'm ready for us to do our own original pieces. Can we get to that? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. New nickname alert: Doskiat. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm real misunderstood. I'm real uh, chilling and provocative, and my art is real. If I had a painter name, it'll probably be One Stroke Teddy. But I don't know. That made me feel like I bust quit. I don't know if the ladies will appreciate that. But I just, you know how you'd be like one take? Oh, I did that in one take. I feel like I did this in one stroke. You feel me? It's just easy. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, all right. About to get disrespectful in this motherfucker. All right, cool. So I taught you guys everything I know. We went over the concept. We went over blocking the colors in, <laughs> uh, or blocking the shapes in, and then mixing the colors. So, you know, get to it. Let's see who's the better artist. All right. All right. Get it. I'm ready to do this, man. I'll make you proud. Man, my uh, inspiration that I'm going for is just my main focus in life. You feel me? And I, I ain't going to give it away. I want people to be able to look at it and know exactly what I'm talking about. What's your inspiration? Like turkey necks, gizzards, liver and onions. Like things that are important to your heart? You talking to me, though, boy? No, I'm talking to, to the other. Uh... You know, you got a Sasha Fierce in you, nigga. <laughs> All them nicknames you got. Shut up. Teddy is just trash, man. I'm telling you, man, them old hot links for fingers that he got, like he can't really grip a paintbrush and really get into his ins and outs. I don't feel like he was listening. I think that he was just thinking about that the leftovers from BJ's that's in his refrigerator right now and he wants to eat it. Doughboy is doing Doughboy, you know? He's just doing what Doughboy does. I don't know what he's trying to prove with his art. I know I heard him talking about oh, money this, money that. Nigga, you owe me $40. How the fuck you got money on your mind? I should have it on mine. This is even starting to shock me on the art scale. Now once I get this stroke in, that's gonna be it. What you over there drawing, bitches that don't respond? <laughs> you <laughs> up, nigga? I'm at work. <laughs> that's all you up Now nah, I'm starting to learn this, man. I don't chase nothing, don't chase me back. You feel me? I tried to tell you that in 08, nigga. You thought I was goofy. I figured out that girls, they don't like a dude that's always just readily available. They like a nigga with some shit to do. Yeah. I hang up on a bitch all the time just cause. It Why? Could be, conversation could be going good. I just, bitch, I gotta, I gotta go. Oh, what this nigga doing? He had a house robe on, where are he going? I feel like you fuck with bitches that can't read. I ain't never drew no stuff like this, so it was crazy. It was like, you know, I, I started off, you know, drawing like a super bad chick that I thought was gonna be, you know, whatever, and then it ended up looking like Monique when she played in Precious. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I get that though, but that's just kind of where art can take you sometimes when you hop in the water. It takes you upstream and then you got something looking like that. Good news, fellas. I called up some of my collective friends, told them we got some hot new artists coming up, some young guys, they wanna see the work. So I have an exhibition set up for you guys, so you know, hopefully one of you guys can sell something. Come on, man. You wanna buy this, don't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. It's all good, man. We'll take it out there. But let them know, I ain't taking nothing less than $47,000. All right, all right, we'll put nothing, the Nothing, not a dollar less. All right. But if they wanna give me $20 and some uh, 
Chinese food, we can talk about it. Feeling amazing, you know what I'm saying? I killed my piece, both my pieces. I think they're gonna sell for like, mm, I don't wanna be, you know, put my, my, my steeds too high out there. I say like 3.3, maybe like starting bid. My first art exhibition, and I feel like I've been doing this my entire life. I feel like my art is hitting fire. I feel like I'm gonna get offered them racks. And I feel like you should respect me and not look me directly in the face when I speak because I am an artiste and I'm sensitive about my shit. Thank you all for coming out to a Teddy and Doughboy's exhibition. Now at this time, I'd like for you guys to pick which painting you'd like to purchase. You just get on either side of the wall and then come up and put a sticker by the piece you prefer. Thank you. Gentlemen, the people have spoken. Oh, those are the picks, the, the little red stickers? Yes. Yeah, those are the sales, man. Oh. That means how much people want to pay. So there's yeah. one million, two million, three million, four, five, six, seven. Seven million dollar painting right here, my boy. It doesn't make any sense. Seven, it's Heartbreak Hotel, nigga. You should check in sometime. This is a black man's plight in America. You've seen this, right? The yeah, money on yeah, your yeah. mind, but you're trying to go for freedom so you can be a king? I live it every day, man. But you got to get two chains? Right. I that ain't a black me. man. That's Kevin on stage. Shut up. <laughs> Bam, I won, shout out to me, Team Dark Skin. All my ladies, holla at me, you feel me? Y'all know, slide in them DMs, come get some of this art. At this point, I feel like it's child abuse if he don't win sometimes. It just looks like I'm picking on him and beating him all the time. So he has to win sometimes, and I guess this one has to be the one that he wins. So I ain't gonna be too mad at him, but I don't necessarily agree with the verdict. Don't, don't look at me like that, cause y'all know, ladies love niggas that can do art. Why y'all think I picked up comedy? Cause when I was a crossing guard, this wasn't getting the hoes. But as soon as I drop this hand and then just move this one right here and put a mic in it, nigga. Hey, what's up, y'all? Good night, Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Like, art, bring the ladies. Ladies, bring the weed. You know what I mean? Well, which one did you like better? I don't care what the people thought. What did you as an artiste pick? Like I said earlier, man, art is open to interpretation. So which one do you interpret to be better? I love different aspects of both of these. This is a landscape, so I'm not gonna compare it to a portrait. So if you had one sticker, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give you one sticker just for the effect, who gets your sticker? I need to know just for my, I know he won the competition, but if you had to put your sticker on one, which one are you putting it on? Damn, It's man. important that I gotta know. Why Damn. does it mean so Shut up and don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the stick. Yeah. This seems like it needs a lot to him. I That's can, all he did it for. I'm good. I'm gonna take off one of mine. Put you it can back take when that. You get a well, yo, you know what I'm saying? Teddy did win the battle on that, but I won the war ultimately because I got the respect of my peer here. I have been Doughboy. Got my brother. Teddy Ray in the building. And Kyle Jordan, man. Yo, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Teddy vs. Doughboy. Hop in the comments and let us know which picture you thought was more artistic. Check y'all on the next episode. And hit my cash app to see if you wanna buy it. See how you can buy one of these. Just a cash out and give him some money to get a haircut. That'd be better money spent. Okay.